They're over here. All right. Guys, I'm excited to be here. This is my roots. This is where I began. This is where I started to make money. And I'm going to fill, I'm actually going to share with you between tonight and Saturday every single secret I use to become very, very successful and get me on the path to where I am now. And it's very easy to duplicate. So take good notes. I talk very, very fast. This is content rich. And if you don't get it, you're going to have to come to Saturday and even get some more secrets. So what I want to share in this session tonight is how to find more private money, okay? Because I don't like paying high rates for that. Um, so is that anybody interested in finding private money tonight? I'm gonna to show you how to do it online and get all you ever want. Hungry buyers, do we need more buyers on our buyers list? Hey, let me tell you a secret about me. The more feedback I get, the more secrets I'm gonna spill, okay? That, all right. And motivated sellers, how many people want more deals per month? I'm really, really serious. There's no reason in Charlotte you can't do five deals a month. This is a ridiculously simple market to make money in. I was excited just driving around today. So uh, that's crazy. I should just come back here. Um, I'm going to share with you how to automate your business. Because when I got involved in real estate investing, I didn't get into it to get another, have another job. I wanted a lifestyle. All right. So I want to share with you how to work smarter, work less, increase your profit margins, and get 90% of the work done for you so you can actually have that lifestyle you want. Um, I'm going to share with how I get these people to come to me. I do not chase after people. They come to me. And we do that all through the internet because uh, I'm a lazy marketer and I want to do everything online. Okay, that's really easy. Uh, and I know there's people in the room who are like, ah, oh, I could break the internet. I'm a little bit afraid to how to turn on my computer even. I don't want you to worry. For those guys still doing traditional marketing, I'm going to show you how to do one or two things that will tweak your marketing to bring in double the amount of leads. Okay, so I'm going to share with you a smart way to make money. We want to make money when we buy, correct? Not when we sell, all right? So I'm going to share with you how we make money when we buy. Real estate is a science. We don't use the word hope in real estate because then it becomes hope is for a dope. I'm going to show you specific strategies that make checks like this. Now, I'm not showing you checks to impress you. I want to share with you checks to impress upon you that this is working now and today, and you can do this anywhere in the world. Um, give you an example. I didn't go on the cruise this year because I was out speaking in Arizona, but the previous year um, I was on ship and you only get limited email connection and, uh, you know, much to this, this uh, disdain of my partner saying, why are you checking your emails on a cruise? I'm like, because I'm doing a deal. You know, and come home and there's a check. And that's how easy this can be if you use the internet and, and a cell phone. The deals will come to you. So I'm going to share with you how, how to do that because I understand most people have jobs. Everybody have a job in this room, okay? So what happens is you, you come home, this is, this is what I want you to imagine your life is gonna be like. You come home from work and you open your computer and you see there's five people who wanna sell you their house under market value, another three people who wanna buy a house from you, and if you're like a lot of my students, there's actually people emailing you to give you money to get a part of your deal. And, and it's actually perfect because the internet does all the work. Give you a little bit about my story. In background, I started out in the Navy and the Marine Corps, served two tours, Hoorah. and thank you. I'm very proud of the guys today, though, because they put their lives on the line for hardly any money. Um, but when I got out of the Corps, I had this great opportunity to go work overseas, and I took it. And I thought it'd be a year to two years away, and I'd come back. What actually happened was I stayed away for 22 years. I did not step foot back in the United States at all. Now, I had worked my way up the corporate ladder overseas until I was ahead of a worldwide global software co corporation, and then the dot-com crash happened. And I had to come back and do something with my tail between my legs. And I landed in Charlotte, and I was watching a late-night infomercial. <laughs> I landed in, it was June of 2003 is when I came back to the United States. And um, I was watching this commercial, and here's this guy on TV, and he was telling how much money he made in real estate. And I thought, well, if they can do it, they look like normal people. I'm a normal guy. I certainly can do it. So I whipped out my credit card, and I got that guy's course. You want to take a guess who he was? Carlton, Carlton. Carlton Sheets. Okay, all those says Carlton Sheets, we can have an alumni party in the bar, because that's where I started. All right? So I had all these struggles and challenges I had to overcome, but my goal when I originally started investing was I had to make money. I wasn't thinking of fancy cars and planes and all that sort of stuff. I was like, failure's not an option. I gotta put food on the table, okay? That's, that's where I was. I didn't have much money at all. 
And I'll show you a picture of my girls. This is why I do what I do, because I love to spend time with my girls. Um, however, this is an old picture, because it's the only one I can find with them all smiling in a row. So um, that is not my wife. I wish it was, or at least. <laughs> Or somebody dressed up like that for me. One of the two. Uh, <laughs> no. So I came back to the United States. I had no credit. Not bad credit. I had no credit file. I had little savings. I had about four to six months to live on. No banking references. I had no knowledge of whatever real estate or anything in the area. It's totally out of touch. But that's where my starting point was. So I had a lot of challenges. And I know many of you have your own set of challenges. But I don't care what they are because I know if you take action and you do it consistently, you can be very successful because that's all I had for me. I'm not any different from any of you except I took massive action and I did it consistently and I just kept going. And um, this saying really changed my life. If you continue to do what you've always been doing, you're going to continue to get what you've always been getting. If you want new results, you've got to take new actions. So that's what spurred me on. I've got to do things differently because the first six months I was in this business in Charlotte, I did it all wrong because Carlton Sheet says, you know what, first thing you got to do is go out and get rental property. And that sounds great. Oh, you got the cash flow. But what happens if you don't have any money? You can't go out and get rental property. Well, that's not true. You can, but it's hard work. So what I would do is I would get the observer and I would call, cold call, and I would just ask this script, hey, how much are your mortgage payments? Can you give me your house? I'll just take them over the payments. And people would think I'm crazy. Has anybody ever done that? They think you're crazy, but I would do it. And I'd do 20 to 25 calls a day until I'd get a deal. And this is only a numbers game. If you make 100 offers, you are going to get a deal, yes? Yeah, OK. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. My slowest student, my slowest student, it took him 137 offers before he made $30,000 on his first deal. But that's OK. Would you do it? OK. So um, I did get my first rental pro property. It was, up in, um, it was up in university. And I remember this. I spent my last $300 fixing the HVAC just so I could sell this thing. Actually, it was funny. It was a lease option. I made him a lease option offer. He goes, oh, just take it over subject two. I didn't even know what the heck that was. I had to go out and buy another subject two course to figure it out, to get the paperwork ready. Anyway, I screwed that all up. Anyway, I got this house, and I had to sell it next month because if I didn't, I had to make a mortgage payment. My heart was like this, oh my God, oh my God. And I never wanted to feel that again. And I tell you what, I thought when I got in this business, I would be the best landlord or, you know, there ever was. Everybody would love me and everybody would pay me. And <laughs> boy, would I, I got a rude awakening because nobody tells you when you buy real estate courses about slow payers, no payers, people who share up your property, right? Okay. And my tenant screening process was so bad that everybody I put into a rental property had already gone to the Jerry Springer School of Tenant Training. <laughs> Swear to God, every single one of them. I was going broke faster than I was making money. So I thought, no, this is ridiculous. Forget the rental property. I'm going to start flipping homes. And I started putting ads in. The, how many people run ads in the Observer, just out of curiosity? <laughs> one or two hands like this. Well, 10 years ago, I thought, hey, I'll do that. And you go for the weekend edition, and it's $400, all right? So I'd put my ad in the paper, we buy houses anywhere, any condition, any price, and your telephone number. And my wife at the time says, $400? Are you crazy, Duncan? I was like, don't worry, honey. We're going to be rich next week. I'm guaranteed of it. That's right. That's what he told me. And you open up that paper, and you see your ad, and there's 37 other ads that say the exact identical thing. And you get zero leads. And you're like, holy crap, what a waste of money. And you think, how do you stand out from everybody else? Do you make your ad bigger? You put bold around it? Or you name the, change the name of your company to AAAA Home Buyers to get that top slot? All right? So ads and newspapers don't work anymore, correct? OK? Because everybody's online. I already told you I was calling for sale by owners for rent ads. That, that's nutty stuff. Bandit signs. Who here does bandit signs? Are they legal? <laughs> no. Now, <laughs> no. Let me tell you a story here. Now, I got, I would, the reason I was wasteful, I was down in South Africa a long time, and um, I got married to a Zimbabwean woman. And on the other side of the, in, in, in Zimbabwe, they drive on the other side of the road. So she wasn't able to drive here. So I had trained my wife to put out the bandit signs for me. I'd drive the car and should put out the signs. Who's ever got a ticket for littering for putting out a bandit sign in Charlotte? You guys are lucky. Because she came back to the car, and her eyeballs were bulging out to hear steam's coming out her ears. And I know I'm sleeping on the couch. She said, you didn't tell me these were illegal? I'm like, 
Why do you think they call them bandit signs? You know? <laughs> so I was never allowed to do that again. And anyway, code enforcement here rips them down and, and finds you anyone when they find you, correct? N nobody's been caught by the bandit sign police? Oh my gosh. OK, well, there's got to be a better way than doing that. All right, how many people are sending letters and postcards? Let's be honest here. Because you buy these courses and they tell you to send letters and postcards. Have you ever done the out-of-state owner list? All right, you go down to the tax office and you get the out-of-state owners list down there for 40 bucks and they put it on a CD for you and you get it home and there's 17,000 out-of-state owners in Charlotte when I did this. I'm like, 17,000, are you kidding me? I don't have 17,000 stamps. Am I gonna lick and stick and do this stuff? So that wasn't an option for me. There's gotta be a better way. Okay, how many people did this next one? Door knocking pre-foreclosures. Man, I was desperate because this is the stuff I would do. Now, you know in Charlotte, hardly anybody where some of these properties are own, own a burglar alarm. They all own pit bulls. Come on, guys. You know it. All right? Because where I used to go and door knock pre-foreclosures that have the gate, and you walk up halfway to that, that porch, and here it comes. And you're like, what do you do? Do you stand stiff like this and pretend you're a tree? Or do you get down on your knees and pray? Or do you run? Well, I chose to run. And I was running as fast as I could. And this dog is chasing my assets all the way to the gate. And I say, there's no way am I ever going to do this again. This sucks. I don't want to do it. So this is the sort of stuff I was doing. And this is the stuff they sort of teach you. I'm like, this is crazy. Because I was driving all over town. Gas is expensive, little time. But guys, when you come home from work, let me ask you, wouldn't you rather put your feet up on the coffee table, your wife bring you a drink and play with the kids, than go drive all over town talking to unmotivated sellers? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, and then follow-up system. My follow-up system, I, I, I lived in the university area when I started, and I was living in a condo, one of these two-story condos. And um, my, my, I was working off basically my dining room table, and I'd have all my papers on the dining room table, and my urgent things I had to do were post-it notes. I'd stick them on the wall. And I'd say, honey, I'm going out. Don't touch anything. I know where everything is. I'd come home at the end of the day, and she stacked. And she doesn't listen. She stacked. <laughs> they never do. They, they stack everything up. And all the post-it notes are off the wall. She's put them someplace else. I'm like, I couldn't find anything. And I, start, I started losing deals because I didn't know what is what anymore. So I had no follow-up system. So I want to share with you tonight how to have a follow-up system in place that goes automatically, that does it for you, whether you like it or not, to make sure you get deals. OK, next one. Any agents in the room? <laughs> God loves you, OK? So <laughs> No, now, I've got some of the best deals of my life from agents. And if you have find an agent that understands an investor mentality, they are worth their weight in gold. But when I first began, all, I'd put a house on the MLS. I'd, I'd give it to the agent. They'd put their sign in the yard. And they'd put it on the MLS and sit back. I'm like, well, I could do that. What am I paying this guy so much money for, right? So if you're doing a $300,000 house, you do one house a month at 6%. That's $18,000 you just gave this guy, right, for doing nothing, in my opinion. So that works out to what? Over $200,000 a year. Is that money better spent in your pocket or your agent's pocket? So you want to learn how to sell your houses within a day to a week? OK, I'll show you how we do it. And then show me the money. Do you all believe there's a ton of deals out there in Charlotte right now if you had money? Yes, and that was my problem. I don't have any money. So I was, I was sick, I was getting beat. My common problems were this. I had no credibility. I was a brand new guy in here. I had a poor pre-screening system. I was ta wasting time talking to too many unmotivated sellers. I had limited time as it was, weak follow-up process, had a paperwork nightmare, no funds. I was getting beat by other investors because you're all competition. I didn't want to door knock pre-foreclosures. I couldn't sell my properties quick enough. I relied on agents. I was wearing, I was wearing too many hats. I was totally stressed out. I was working 40 to 60 hours, actually 60 to 80 hours, doing this stuff. And it, I wasn't getting ahead. It was like, oh, come on, where is this path to success? And what ended up happening was a shame, because I ended up getting divorced because of all the stress. And I didn't get in this business to get divorced. I, I wanted to get in this business so I could provide a better lifestyle for my family. So I had to fix stuff. And that's why I'm here sharing this stuff with you, because it doesn't have to be this way. And I know many of you have these problems. Most investors do. And that's how fast I was getting rich in real estate. You don't want to drive one of those folks. 
you want to, that's my car now, okay? You want to drive a, a Range Rover or something fun to drive and go out and play with, okay? But I want to give you guys a wake-up call. 80% of investors are failing, or at least not succeeding, because of one of these issues. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to make an offer, okay? I don't have the time. I have every good intention, but time gets the better me. Or I just don't get enough leads. How many of you get more than 50 leads a week in your inbox? You guys are in trouble. How many get more than 10 a week in their inbox? One guy. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys are hurting in trouble. How are you going to make offers if you don't get the leads? Okay? And then money. People don't have money to do the deals. Well, I'm going to share it with that. And then you have to have somebody to support and give you an exact step-by-step -step plan to get you there. So I'm going to handle all of this tonight. And on Saturday, I'm going to go down into great detail. But for now, I want you to have an epiphany. Guys, we're just using real estate investing as a vehicle to get to where we want to go. What actually drives and powers that vehicle is the gas that we put in it. And that gas in this business is marketing your own real estate abilities. Why are you better than her at doing what you do? And why should people come to you in this business? Because you're the thought leader. You're the go-to guy. You're the authority. And we got to make make ourselves that and tell the world that so they come to us. You follow me? It's marketing your real estate abilities. There's too much competition, too much choice out here, and not enough people are clear on what they do that people know that say, I want to deal with you. Okay. So, two keys to success in business. Now, when I was a CEO of a company, they bought me in as a CEO to drive revenue. This is a business. It's not a hobby to me. Hopefully you all treat it as a business, even if it's part-time, because the number one goal of the business is to make money, not to lose money. And there's only two things, if you run a business as, and you are the president of that company that you have to do, and I can't stress this enough, there's only two things you need to do. The first one is you are the head marketer. You've got to be putting out a piece of promotion every single day for finding motivated sellers, hungry buyers, and private money, okay? Because if you don't do this well, you're never going to get to your second step you have to do and make offers. And you've got to be making at least five offers a week if you want to do one deal a month, if not more. Correct? Okay. How many offers does it take you to get a deal? Five, ten? My number in the beginning was a hundred offers before I'd get a deal. But that's okay. I can make a hundred offers to get a deal. Now it's down to five. All right. So what everything else I do is I automate everything that I can with software or I outsource what I can't that allows me to concentrate my efforts on this, okay? You're a CEO. You're not the bottle washer. You're not the repairman, okay? That's what you do. Do you need any more time on that slide? Because this is important as we go on. I want to make you work less, not more, okay? My wake-up call was my grandmother, and she wears weird hats. And when I came back to, Char when I came to Charlotte, I wanted to see my grandma. And uh, she's 82 years old. She lives up in Pennsylvania. And I called her, made a time to go up and see her, and I was excited about it. But when I got there, I rang the bell, and there was no answer. I'm like, okay, well, maybe the bell doesn't work in the back, or she's gone a little bit deaf. So I, you know, started knocking. No answer. I'm like, come on, Granny, it's your long-lost grandson. You know, hello, hello. So I started banging on the door. Still no answer. So at this time, you get a little bit concerned that something's going on. So I jiggled the knob, like I think anybody would. And I let myself in the house, and there in the corner of her living room was this scrawny little lady with her finger up in the air doing this. And I was like, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? Do you know what she was doing? She was bidding victoriously on eBay. She was trying to wait to the very last minute to win an auction. My grandmother's on eBay? And do you know what she was trying to win? A bobble-headed Elvis, okay? <laughs> I am now the proud owner of bobble-headed Elvis. <clears throat> but the wake-up call, the light bulb went off in my head. If my grandmother is online, that's where I got to be to get more business. Agreed? All right. So here's the fact is, and this is from the National Association of Realtors. 86% of people use the internet before picking up the phone, okay? So if realtors know this, then we got to do it better than realtors, okay? Why internet automation systems? It's less work. Technology leverages our efforts. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, rather, uh, 
regardless if you're working or not. And if you do it the way I'm going to share with you, you don't even have to meet with the buyers or sellers in person anymore. Kitchen table closing, blah, okay? We can all automate this and outsource this stuff. So just to give you an example, the average internet buyer spends only 2.2 weeks working with a realtor to find their home versus the traditional buyer six weeks. Realtors showed an average of 6.65 homes to internet buyers versus 22 homes to traditional buyers. Inter oops. Internet buyers spend approximately 60% less time working with a realtor compared to a traditional buyer. I don't know about you, but I want to do it the new, fast, easy way rather than doing the old-fashioned way, and I want money now. Does that, that's where we are. That's what we want. Okay, so how can I help you? How can I ensure your success? So when you get out of here tonight, I'm going to give you some steps that you can take, and I hope you do some of this homework I give you before Saturday because I guarantee you're going to get an edge over your competition. The first thing I want to do is solve the fear of not having enough money. I hear too many people say, I don't have the cash, I don't have the credit, what have you. Okay, I heard all the money lenders talk today. I'm like, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you how to get it yourself online. I'm going to give you six different sources to get money online. I'm going to go through each one of them. Prosper.com is a peer-to-peer -peer lending site. You put up there what you want the money for, and people start bidding on you like an eBay item. I'll give you this rate and term. I'll give you this rate and term. All right? So it's great if you want $5,000 per se for an earnest money deposit. Or have you heard of, Go have you heard of uh, angel investors? Or um, angel investors? Yes? OK. So these guys uh, are looking to put their money, hedge their bets, and put their money somewhere that they can get a better return on their, their, their business. Now, there, this is, there is a free side to this and a pay side to this. All you need is the free side. If you do this, if you're going to list your, your business up there, make sure you have an LLC and you have a business plan and may have a few case studies because they want to see that you have a, uh, a reputation, uh, a track record to go with. But it's a good source to get, get money. The next one is anybody doing short sales or um, using transactional funding. Quick turn money is like rental money for up to 120 days, not 30 days, not overnight, up to 120 days they, they give you hard proof of funds. Not just a letter that says, yeah, he's qualified, they'll actually give you a bank statement that said, here, hard proof. So quickturnmoney.com. Now the next one is the National Association of Private Money Investors. This site is target rich because this is like a matching system. All the people who have money to invest and what the experience is of what they're looking for and how it was to work with them versus you can list yourself here, this is what I do, and each other can rate each other after each project. Okay? The other one is you need a line of $150,000 of unsecured credit. Very possible if you have some sort of good, good credit still. Businessunsecuredcredit.com. It doesn't hurt to apply. Let them see if they can't get you. But I know there's several people who, after I've told them this, are flipping houses just with these uh, unsecured credit lines. And my favorite is this one. If you think the government is spying on you, InfoUSA is a private data broker that knows everything about you. And uh, I went to a Tony Robbins seminar. And he, I heard him say, if you start asking better questions, you're going to start getting better answers in your life. And the biggest question I had at that time is, I need private money. I need money to go out and expand my business. Who is the type of person that would give me that money? All right, so that was my question. So when you go to the site, you can do this for free, all right? I started making some assumptions. If a 21-year-old just got hold of a trust fund and had a million dollars in it, do you think he's going to give it to me? No. He's buying cars and girls. No, not buying girls, but he's, he's, he's buying cars and partying girls. He's interested in that stuff. So I started um, with this thing is like, OK, let's go for where all the rich people live. OK, now I'm pulling this one for Greenville, South Carolina. I pulled the zip code 29601. But what's the zip code that where all the rich people live in Charlotte? I mean, yeah, Charlotte. That's where I am today, Charlotte. Uh, OK, there you go. So you would put that in that spot. Now, I made some assumptions that if you're 35 and older, you're probably thinking a little bit more about your finances into the future and your retirement. Okay. I also wanted people who had an income of double to triple the median income for the area. So I'm in Greenville now. So the median income down there is $34,000. What's it up here in Charlotte? 
Well, it might be, what is it? 40, yeah, say 42, okay? So um, you would then go still for $100,000 and above because it just means you're assuming that this person is wealthier or, or more flush than somebody else. I chose married for the reason being that they're probably more stable and thinking again about their future. I also chose male for a couple reasons. First one is males are traditionally the head of the household and make all the decisions, right ladies? <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you know, I gotta remember, I, I spent a lot of time down, <laughs> down under um, in Africa. So, okay, so, um, no, I chose male because I didn't need two names. I only needed one name, okay? I didn't want to duplicate names. And then I wanted to be a homeowner. Uh, because I wanted to know what it was like to buy a home and have a mortgage, et cetera. So I wanted them to have a home that was double to triple the median price of the home. What's the median price of a home here in Charlotte? Guys, you should know this one. Pardon me? 142. So you would go for at least 280 and upwards, okay? Because we're, we're assuming wealth. You see where I'm going with these assumptions? Okay, when I'm pulling this. I wanted them to have a mortgage present, so I knew they could probably have a credit line available from that or an equity line. But this is where it gets fun. This InfoUSA has a wealth finder model. They know how much money you make and how much cash you have access to. It's pretty scary, but is that pretty powerful? Okay, so I picked, I, I want guys who had at least $100,000, okay? And then they have this potential investor model where they take an algorithm based on everything you've purchased, houses you've bought, everything, your magazines, they work it all into this formula, and they, they, they put you in the five categories. Very aggressive investor, aggressive investor, moderate investor, conservative investor, or not likely an investor at all. Is that pretty powerful when you combine that with that formula above? Okay, so. What I did is, now this is for Greenville, I pulled a list of 91 names of all their contact info, okay? What did it cost me? $31.15. Let me ask you a question. Would you pay $31.15 to get a very hot targeted list of guys with money in the area that you're targeting to invest in? Yes. Okay, so the next question is going to be, when are you going to do it? All right, so now that you got this list of names, well, what the heck do you do with it? Well, another reason I chose a very aggressive investor is because they're usually a type A personality. Would you agree with that? The type of guy who's always going all the time. And how do you get under the skin of a type A personality? Okay? And if you watch the Shark Tank, you'll see it switching these guys as soon as you tell them something they do not know. As soon as you tell them something they don't know, wow, they're interested. So that's how you've got to lead up to these guys. All right? So I just sent them a postcard. And it said, investor alert, important information requires your attention. Secrets Wall Street doesn't want you to know about. Read this eye-opening and informative report to stay ahead of the pack. Get your copy today. And I put up a website. And I put up this website that would be built like a bank site that would have how we help, better returns, typical lending, testimonials, choices, benefits, sample deals. Never quoting rates, but just educating them about why they should consider investing with me. Most investors who have money never heard of private money or investing with real estate investors, so you have to educate them. So if they contacted us or wanted to contact us for more information, they click here, and now they have to give me their name, their phone number, and their email address, right? What do I have? I have a lead. I have a lead, right? Now this thing gets put into an automated system that every single week continues to educate them, but also because it comes every single week, it's keeping me, it's keeping them at the top of their mind. All right? So when you have your deal, now that you have this pre-existing relationship, can you not present your deal? Yes. Okay. Could you all do something like that? Is that really too hard? No. Oh, no, I got to turn on my battery. Uh, I got to plug it in. <laughs> I don't want to stop now. Guys, take this. Any questions while I'm plugging in here? Any questions? Gosh, am I doing good or what? <laughs> what? Yes, sir. How often do you uh, keep sending them follow-up emails? Um, I'll send them emails for as long as I, until they opt out, because I want to be. Send them weekly? Yeah, send them weekly. 
If you, if you don't have enough content or information to send them, um, send them um, a monthly newsletter. That's good. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. So uh, you had a question back here? Yeah. Um, right now, you're just educating them. You're not quoting any rates or anything like that, and um, you send a postcard to educate them for a free report. You're clear. When you start making an offer and quoting rates, you better have your, your company registered. Okay. Um, so let's move on to six steps to a deal. This is how I do a deal now, and it was all to get around that point of fear in the very beginning where, remember I said my heart was palpitating like this because if I didn't sell this house, I'm going to, I didn't have money to make that payment. So I turned the model on its head and I just said, I'm gonna find my hungry buyers first and I'm gonna build five different types of buyers list. Do you wanna know what they are? Oh, I just want to make sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you if you don't want me to. All right. So I built five different types of buyer's list because the power's in the list. You build a wholesale buyer's list, a landlord buyer's list, a retail buyer's list, a rent-to-own buyer's list, and a commercial buyer's list because you want to segment these guys. I am not going to send every deal I have to my wholesale buyer's list if I know I can sell it to a landlord buyer at a higher price, right? So the better you know your list and the better you segment it, the more money you're going to make. Does that make sense? So when you're building these lists, you want to ask them four questions. You want to know what they are? Or you want to wait till Saturday? Okay. So you ask them all, how much money do you have? How fast do you want to buy it? Where do you want to buy? And what do you want to buy? Because I'm not going to spend all my time marketing for all over Charlotte if I don't have buyers for that area. I'm going to concentrate my marketing efforts, targeted efforts, in a specific area where I know my buyers already want and I know exactly what they're looking for. Okay, really makes sense. That's how you get rich in America anyway. You find out what the people want, demand, and what price they're willing to pay for it. You go out and find it cheaper from them over in China and then simply provide it to them. As a middleman, you make your money, right? So the four questions is, how much money do you have? How fast? Where do you want to buy? And what type of house do you want to buy? Okay. So I've, I got my hungry buyers first. I then set up a system to sort the deals. Then I would market to my motivated sellers. I would then offer the property back to the hungry buyer. I use a closing coordinator from contract to close. They run with that ball, and then they make sure I get paid without any involvement from me. Okay, so that's the process. That's what we do: build a buyer's list, ask what they want, find a deal with no risk, have system sort deals, offer a deal to hungry buyer, get paid. That's what we're going to go through today and and Saturday. So I want to go through building a buyers list online. Remember when I went down to the uh, tax office and I asked for my out-of-state owner list? And there were 17,000 of them. Well, I'm very thrifty. I, I wanted to make sure I got money for my 40 bucks because I couldn't mail all those people. So I started weeding through that Excel spreadsheet. And I started taking out all the zip codes that were the war zones. You guys all know where the war zones are in Charlotte, right? You do? OK. So you just eliminate those. Then you want to eliminate all the houses that are below 1,200 square feet. All right? I didn't want anything less than a 3-1. I didn't, you know, ideally, I wanted a 3-2. But anything that was 2-1, they came right off. Boom, take those right off the list. Um, anything that didn't have a garage. So I kept weeding through this list with my criteria. And I started to notice a trend. Like, well, this guy has a house here, here, and here. He has multiple mortgages. What does that indicate to you? He's an investor, right? So you go on the, the GIS here, and you can look up when this guy bought property, correct? And you look, well, this guy just bought this property six months ago. So what does that give you an indication of? He's an active investor, right? Yeah, you get it. OK, so instead of doing that manual process, you want to go to this site here called listsource.com. OK, it was built for mortgage brokers, but that doesn't mean I can't use it, all right? So, what you're looking for on here is non-owner ox. Consumers who own more than one home are more likely to refinance their investment properties when given the option as opposed to their primary residence. OK? So why won't you go to the site, target the area you want investors to buy in, and just say, give me 100 active investors for 100 bucks, right? You can have a list tomorrow. Are you going to do that? Two heads nodding, okay. Uh, got my work cut out for me. All right, 
Do you all know the Section 8 program in Charlotte? Okay. Are there a lot of Section 8 rentals around here? A lot. Matter of fact, if you go to HUD.gov for Charlotte, you'll see there's over 4,000. When I did this, there was over 4,000 of them. Would you believe that, I'm going to give you an assumption here. Would do you believe that 1% or 2% of that 4,000 people who have these Section 8 houses for, for rent would might want another house that the government's willing to pay for? Okay, so I could get another 40 to 80 people on my buyers list for landlords very easily, right? Well, then you could click through from this site to this site here called socialserve.com or go Section 8, where they list these houses in the Section 8 program. Oh, look here, it tells me here is it's a private owner, here's her phone number, here's her email address, these are the types of houses she buys, oh, blah, blah, blah. Would you not pay somebody $3 an hour to keep clicking through page by page by page to keep collect this information of Section 8 property owners that I can offer my next landlord buy deal? Because not every deal I'm going to get is a wholesale deal. I might get it at 80% of value. I could flip that for still and make a nice little penny on it, right? Yes? When are you going to do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. All right. So... I'll give you a couple other quick examples. eBay classifieds. You do not have to list a, a property on eBay to sell it. Okay, A lot of other people do, but you can run a classified ad on eBay that will show over top all the auctions. Did you know that? And you know what it costs? $19.99 for 30 days. So literally, in my ad keywords, I could choose bargain, discount, handyman, fixer, upper, so my ad is going to appear when those same auctions come up, but I'm going to offer a free list of my properties, and I can then literally take them to my website where I'm hiving all this traffic off eBay to me. Okay? $19.99, guys, is that cheap marketing? Okay. To basically hijack eBay to me? Come on. All right, you got online classifieds, you know Craigslist, Kijiji, you got Yahoo, Truly, a groups is great, LinkedIn. I want to talk about Twitter. How many people here have a Twitter account? I want you to start signing up for Twitter, not for, to tell people about that you're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I want you to think of Twitter as an advanced search engine, because that's why Google and Microsoft want to buy this thing. Now, is Jason, or John, Jason Barton or John Corey in the room here? Did you, did you know you can monitor people's email on Twitter? This is very powerful because what I wanted to do is, and this is for Charlotte, okay? I wanted to find all the foreclosure, you're gonna like this, all the foreclosure investors in Charlotte in the last 24 hours or who have identified themselves on their Twitter bio as a foreclosure investor. Do you think those are people I would wanna know? Yeah? Okay, so you can do this by going to search.twitter.com. It ranks some by activity, and so does Twello.com. Sometimes it's a little easier to use Twello.com, T-W-E-L-L-O-W.com. Sounds like yellow pages of Twitter. Now, here it goes. So I found this guy here, Jason. He's talking to John with the little at sign. His email to him goes, you got seniority on me, my friend. I bought my first real estate flip 10 years ago, did everything wrong, and still made a nice profit, blah, blah, blah. Okay? And in his bio on his page, it says, I'm a successful real estate investor focusing on foreclosures and pre-foreclosures. Then he belongs to three other categories. Is that somebody you want to know? So what do you do? You press the follow button, right? And what does Twitter do when you press a follow button? It sends a message to him that says, hey, Duncan is now following you. Well, you're most likely going to get this email and say, well, who the heck is Duncan, right? So you would set up your Twitter account to say, I'm also a, a successful real estate investor focusing on block, 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 right? Right? So he's probably going to follow you back. A 75% chance he's going to follow you back. So you're going to go one step further. You're going to set up an automated reply on your Twitter account anytime anybody follows you you say, hi, thanks for following me. As a real estate investor, I like blah, blah, but what is your favorite real estate investing strategy? Because by asking a question, it demands engagement. Okay, you've asked him a question, he's got to answer it. So once I'm engaged, now that's the easy part, I can talk. I can also now join this conversation. All right, so Jason will probably say, hey, I want to talk to you too. 
Is that something that is very simple and free you could do to start networking? Because this game is not about what you know, it's about who you know. All right. So that's why I like Twitter. My secret weapon, though, is I got t the internet is so vast, and it's hard to keep track of all this stuff. So I, and this is actually how I took my business in Charlotte from one to two deals a month to five to eight deals a month. And I started doing this eight years ago. Okay. Now my, and I'm going to tell you my numbers went from just a couple deals a month to where I ended up doing 77 deals in basically my first year after I created the software. All right, so this thing is still the powerhouse today where I do this all around the country. And it's called my online lead finder. What this thing basically is, it's a listening device that monitors websites that looks out for social triggers. And social triggers, think of them as keywords that people are putting out. They can be in advertisements or they can be in conversations across social media and multiple other sites. So what I did here is I've broken it down to I'm looking for different types of categories of housings, be it apartments, commercial, homes for sale, rent, real estate services, rooms, short tail sublets, et cetera, uh, by broker, by owner, and then I break it down into cities. And I'm going to use a key, I just used a keyword here. I'm going for the most bizarre keyword. You think, why would anybody show me their hand and tell me they're motivated right up front? So I said, show me that keyword, and I said, extract it, and um, Basically, it comes back with all these leads, and here's one here, and it allows me to click the ones I want. I have a template that I can basically drop down and say, email all at one go. I can contact, say, 100, 200 people like that, all right? Or if I want to follow up, I can say only export them, and I can export all their information from the address to the telephone number to the email address, etc. Is that pretty cool? Okay, so it just finds me the best stuff. So here's a sample template I, I use, and this was on Craigslist. And it says, hey, you're out on Craigslist. I'm an investor who buys and sells houses fast. What's the best deal you can do for a quick sale? I'm not trying to sell them who I am. I'm just saying, hey, ask a question. Get engaged, right? Because once they email reply to that, I have their email address. They'll probably say, hey, well, call me to talk more. Then it's easy. Do you see what I'm doing here? Just trying to get massive contact to get engaged very quickly. So if you wanted to build a buyer's list with this software, all we'd do is say, type in the words BY house as fast in the area. It would go out and find every website of every other investor in the area that has those words. And again, we can then find the email on there and, and send to them right away with the drop down email template. Uh, on Twitter, uh, I want to monitor the Twitter timeline. Oh, by the way, the, before that, that works 24 hours, seven days a week. Even if you're not at your computer, it's constantly checking back for these different websites for these keywords. So for on Twitter, same thing here. Now, I do investing in California also, and I'm looking for short sale. So I used the word short sale, location California, and I press search, and it came back. These are the guys who are tweeting in the last 24 hours about short sales. Okay. So once I have that, I check them all off, and I can then follow them first. Press to follow, and it goes follow, 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 right? And then I can send them a direct message if they followed me back. If not, I can send them a tweet at message, which means everybody sees it, but I don't care. And then I send them a message like this. It says, hi, do you have any short sale deals available now that I can make offers on? Let me know, Duncan. That's simple. It, Re really easy, all right? Going out to all these people constantly, all right? You could do that manually, but I don't have all day to do that stuff. I don't even want to hire somebody to do that stuff and monitor that Twitter stream. So is, is that useful? Yeah, big time. OK. So what about if you could scrape and get every address from any investor off of Google+, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn, Plurk, or some of these other forum sites that investors hang out on? You could say real estate investor, the area, and it would just go and start grabbing them all, OK? So very helpful there. How about if you could find out everybody on Facebook who put their hand up and is taking an active part on Facebook and saying, I'm a real estate investor. They're a member of a group, or they own a page. Or how about this? If they ever attended an investing event uh, anywhere online through Facebook where they were invited, well, we would go in here. This is our software again. We would go in here. And we would pull back all these groups. And I did this in Chicago the other day. I got uh, 486 people in this one Facebook group. And I said, give me all their email addresses. And we just click the button. And it just starts extracting.
their Facebook email addresses, okay, that you could email to. Is that pretty fast and cool that you could start talking to people? Okay, so if you don't want to email people, that's fine. What we do is we can extract those or we can get the user IDs and we simply upload them into Facebook's ad manager and we can simply display our advert to those people only, not anybody else, but only to them. So our cost per ad, basically, it's even less than a penny per click, because I did it the other day to 69 people, uh, and it ended up uh, for one day, and it was like 14 cents. Okay? Or you could target like 5,000 people, and it ends up costing $5. That's cheap advertising cost. It's better than doing door hangers in the neighborhood, let me tell you that. So we simply then direct them to a, a website where we have this forms where we're collecting, we have multiple types of forms, be it a wholesale form, a rental, rental form, a sell your house form, et cetera. But we collect them into this database that then segments them. So if you have a, we, in this particular one, we're going to send the bulk email to wholesalers. It could be to rental uh, buyers. Uh, it, and, and so on, so it sends to a target. So what I'm getting to here is, if you can segment your, your list, and you, you got people in there, and you have a property, if you can send an email, you can sell a house really quick, all right? That's what we're doing. So now we gotta talk about the system to sort the deals. I showed you a little bit there, but how many people here have websites? Okay, but you're getting less than 50 leads a month, which is terrible, all right? So what we need to do to make sure your website works is three things. One, it has to pre-screen and educate people because we only want the most motivated leads to come. Because using my software, I can get hundreds of leads a day to my site. So I don't want to be talking to all of them or wasting my VA's time. So I want to pre-screen and educate. So if you have a website and you start doing some of the lead generation I'm going to share with you after this is, um, what is the first thing you've been told to ask once somebody gives you a number. Is that the best you can do? Good, all right. Very first thing you learn. But why didn't, once you set up your automated reply on your, your contact form and say, hey, thanks for getting, thanks for filling in your form. Um, I'll get back to you within 24 hours, but is that really the best price you can do? Do you know what? They answer back like within 15 minutes and they say, well, yes, it is, or no, it's not. But if they say no, they already know that you're pre-framing their mind that you're going to be negotiating with them, right? And see what number they actually come back with. I bet they'll come back with a second number. So it has to negotiate. Pre-screen them, educate them, negotiate, and then it has to have a follow-up campaign where day one it sends a message, day three it sends a message, day five, day seven, day 10, and day 30 at least, because when they're online, people are shopping. But if you're consistently staying in touch with these people, you're at top of their mind, you're gonna get their business, all right? So we have different types of sites. Uh, we believe that putting video and audio in your site will increase your conversion. They don't have to be fancy videos. Just start talking in front of your webcam and telling people what you do, okay, will increase the conversion rate because people are lazy. They don't even want to read anymore. Uh, they just show me the video what you guys do, okay? I suggest that you start implementing your own branding into your website. Stop having these Me Too copycat websites that don't allow you to affect flexibility to establish your brand, all right, because you got to stand out from everybody else. Okay, and how many people here have a call, a click to call button in their website? You want to increase your conversions with this traffic that comes? You can get a free Google Voice number, guys. Sign up for that free Google Voice number. They will give you, when you create that button, do you want to put it on your website? Yes. Then they give you a copy and paste code, and you just stick it right above your form. Okay, so for all the lazy people who don't want to fill out the form, they click that, and it connects right away to your cell phone. All right? So there's no excuse that you're not going to get more leads if you start implementing one or two of these simple strategies. Yes? Okay, so when are you going to do this stuff? Tomorrow. Thank you. Somebody tomorrow. Okay. So what I like is my auto profits module, which basically, as soon as they submit that lead, it's using an algorithm to start calculating potential profit and motivation. Okay? So 
it, it sends me this email, besides putting it in the back end database, it's telling me here's the estimated value, here's the asking price, here's the low asking price, what they owe, monthly payments, blah, blah, blah. But it, it's, it's starting to tell me an overview of my lead. Should I contact this guy? Well, there's an equity spread on there in this house of 15,000. I can, okay, I can, um, I can make some money on this deal. So when I log into my system, I have a complete customer management system. It's organized by, in this case, by uh, profit potential and motivation. And there's my to-do list, my team assignments with my virtual assistants, my auto profits. It automatically calculates three offers. It creates a cash wholesale offer, a lease option offer, an owner finance offer, and then you simply press a button and it will complete all the documentation that you want and email it off to them. Okay? So I'm not spending a lot of time doing all this paperwork and figuring out stuff. I've already, I know my numbers for this area, and you plug it in based on your area, it'll start calculating this stuff. How many people struggle with making offers? How many struggle with filling out paperwork? Well, let the system do it for you. So it'll even tell you what is the best exit strategy you should aim for, be it Oh, you know, the, is, if we do it a wholesale, this is all we're going to make. If we do it owner finance, we're going to get this instead. So <coughs> this is how far we go to automate the system. All right, so, and here's the documents that you just press that you can autofill it. You can send them a blank copy. Here's a great site called signnow.com. You can take the document from here, upload it to signnow.com. It's free. It's like DocuSign, but it's free. And signnow.com, you upload it. They uh, PDF it digital signature and all that, but here's what's better. I used to hate looking for notaries all around Charlotte at all times of the night when I was going out and looking at these deals, right? So with signnow.com, you pay $12.95, up pops a video notary, okay, who does your ID, swear, and swears you over the ID, you know, looks at your ID, swears you online, puts the stamp on it, sends it to you, hard copy, right? And it's legal in all 50 states. It's legal here. So there's no excuse not to get stuff notarized anymore. Here's the document, sign it, and pop the notary. All right, you're done. All right, so um, I use also tele, uh, tele, um, a pre-recorded system where people call into a general number, then they press one for this, two for that, three for that, because I never want to speak to these people unless they're motivated. I actually go as far as, instead of having a, a virtual assistant answer that ask the questions, I actually have an automated response say, what's the address? What, what do you want for the property? So it asks them the questions and fills it into a form. Yes? Well, it, I'm just saying that you can take a Google Voice number and do that, or you can do that through, I'm using my real estate telecenter uh, connection button. But you can do the exact same thing for free with Google Voice. So um, on, on Saturday, I'm going to show you how to use outbound voice and text marketing to make $5,000 every weekend right here in Charlotte. Okay? If I have enough time, we'll actually do it live instead of just explaining it to you, where one or two of you might be on the phone with somebody right then and there. Okay? Is that worth coming to Saturday for to actually see how you can use voice and text blasting to make money right away? Okay, I'm telling you, it, it's how I made all my money in Charlotte when I began years ago. So now about finding sellers. If you're still going to do it the old-fashioned way, I'm going to tell you the first thing you should do in your marketing is get your website domain name on your mailing piece. Don't just put your phone number. Doing that simple little thing will double your response rate because they're going to check you out first before calling you. Buy your list from um, local providers rather than trying to do it yourself. Some of my best lists I've ever worked, the eviction list, okay? These guys are hot to sell. I know when I was, I had my houses and I was through the eviction process here, I was the most frustrated ever. I was about, you know, to get rid of that house. So I know they're very hot. Probate and inherited property trust have been my secret fishing hole for wholesale deals on a consistent basis. How many people are working the probate market? Guys, you have hardly any competition. Do you like probate? Yeah, it, it's a great source. And if you now add inherited property trust into your probate market, because a lot of stuff doesn't go through probate. A lot of people put, put it in living trust that it would 
bypass that process, but it's easy to find those trusts. You've got to do a little bit of work, uh, but there's companies out there that do that work for you that you can get that for a dollar a piece. But those, with probate, you only have to mail like 100 to 200 of them to get one or two deals a month. Um, if you do stuff down in Florida, the pre-probate market's great, or out in Arizona, because um, those are like God's waiting room. Uh, <laughs> so, no, <laughs> it's true. Gosh, I stayed out of a hotel out there, and I thought I was in a senior care facility myself. Uh, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. All the snowbirds come down from up north. Anyway, um, these people, they, um, I, we just put our, my dad into a senior care facility. So I know we had to liquidate his house so he could afford to be in this facility. So do you think you could help that person sell their house quickly, fast, for cash? Yes. All right, so you just got to work out how to get that list. Uh, condemned or abandoned properties. How many people here are working with code enforcement? Guys, you know, I'm going to tell you my best kept secret here. Do you know you can get online at code enforcement, you can see every single house, every single code violation, how long it's been there, what's wrong with it, and the address and the owner. Why aren't you guys talking to these people? I mean, you, you think code enforcement doesn't want this crap off their, their plate? I, I, I can't tell you how many people Friends I've made on code enforcement, hey, shoot me, you know, just tell me if you, you know, have a problem with this. I'll tell them I'll buy his house, okay? Um, bankruptcy, how many people here doing short sales? Guys, how many, or how many people doing foreclosures? Let me say for you, for, are there foreclosures investors in this room? Okay. The best source of foreclosure leads come from pacer.gov, which is the bankruptcy clearinghouse. This is the federal record keeping department that keeps track of every single bankruptcy. All right. Now, the reason I don't work the Liz Pendants list, or actually the 30, 60, 90 day late list anymore, is because if you go into pacer.gov, you can sign up for free. It's a government site. In three months' time, they will bill you eight cents per lead you've got out of there. And they don't bill it per lead, they, pay, they do it per view, but it's a lead per me. The key word you're looking for in this system. It's the word dismissed. It's a polite way to say you failed, OK? If the word says discharged out of bankruptcy, it means you were successful, which means they keep the house. But if it was dismissed, it means they're losing their house. And guess what? At this point, you're the last guy that is talking to them about helping them you know, move that house. Because before, you had all the foreclosures investors doing the list pendants list. You had all the bankruptcy attorneys in there trying to get their business. They're gone now. You had all the realtors in there who never follow up. So you're the last guy in the queue who can help, help them, right? That's the only place, in my opinion, you should be getting your deals from because the bank's coming back and they're willing to deal fast at this point. OK? Who's going to start doing that? I know you are. <laughs> OK? Fire damage. You can get a list of fire damage properties. I'm not afraid of fire damage. All, all, those are great wholesale properties, OK? So once you get these lists from these data providers, there are data providers that have all that information, OK? You go to click2mail.com, OK? Click2mail. It's actually a service run by our United States Postal Service. You can actually go to our United States Postal Service site and come to the same page, but it's called click2mail.com. You upload your Excel spreadsheet. You upload your mailing piece. It doesn't mail merge. It says, Dear Mr. Smith of 123 Main Street, I'd like to make you a cash offer of X. You put some money in. For slightly more than the cost of the stamp, the government will print it for you, stuff it for you, and send it the next day. Okay? All in a matter of 15 minutes of your time. All right? There's no reason you cannot do a mailing campaign now and no more licking and sticking. All right? Can you all do that? All right. So. That's online, that's offline marketing. But I want to talk about, I want to talk about online marketing because this is now I want to get to show you how to get a thousand leads a month here in Charlotte. I'm sorry I've been taking them all, but I'm going to show you how we do it. All right. So damn. Damn you, JC. Okay, here we go. I'm going to talk about local search marketing. I'm going to talk about pay-per-click marketing and social media. I have 80 different ways in my course, but I'll go over this again on Saturday in more detail, but local search. Have you ever done a search online where you've gotten a result that a little map comes up? Yes? That is called a local search result. 
And here's the thing, 63% of us got a map when we searched for something online. The big thing here is 70% of the 63 made a buying decision based on what came up in that map. So how do you get on the map, right? You want to know how to do it for free? Okay, well, you go to Google places, you go to google.com forward slash places. So if you're sitting in Greenville and you type the word sell house fast, I'd come up everywhere. I took all the free spaces except the one that was paid. I wasn't paying for it because people go ad blind. So I thought I'd take all of them, okay? You can do the exact same for Charlotte, okay? So when you google.com forward slash places, it's gonna walk you through a wizard. The more complete you fill the wizard, the better your position is gonna be. So when they ask you how many parking spots you have, you tell them. If they ask you what hours you're open, you tell them. If you, they ask you for if you take credit cards, checks, or whatever form of payments you take, you tell them. You upload pictures of yourself. You upload a video of yourself. Ask, just complete everything they ask you, okay? Because they want to own the world and, and they want to provide their users with a good search experience, okay? And of course, you give them a link to your website and a great description and great keywords. You can even upload an ad for free. So this is how you're going to start dominating local searches. But let's look here. This is just my inbox from one local places and um, 2, 3, 18, 1, 1, 18, 2, 1, 34, 17, 1, 1, 1, 11. There's over 100 leads in here this month just from local search. <laughs> Could you do a deal from one out of 100 leads? Yeah, the numbers are there, if not more. So let me ask you, when are you going to go do this? I'd be doing it tonight when I get home, tell you the truth, because on Saturday I'm going to explain to you that Google takes a little while to verify this, and the first one in wins, all right? So there's only so many places here in Charlotte you can be on this map around, so very important. Then we can tell you how to do it on Bing, and then we can tell you how to do it on Yahoo, and Ask, and Yelp, et cetera, so you're literally going to dominate. Matter of fact, on Saturday, I'm going to teach you how to walk into any market. If you just come for Saturday just to hear this little... 20 minute segment where I will teach you how to walk into any market, figure out how your competitors got to where they are on the first page of Google. I'm going to tell you how to utterly destroy them, okay, and wipe them off, replace yourself there, and you guys who are on the first page of Google, I'll tell you how to immune yourself from that sort of activity. But you need to know what your competitors are doing, how they got there, and do it better so you can capture that position. That's for Saturday, okay. But I want to talk about pay per click. Because pay-per-click, you've all seen the ads. When you type something in Google, stuff comes up here, right? Okay? So this is organic results, which is nice if we can get them. But it, it takes a little bit of work to get here. So the quickest way to get into the uh, first page of Google is to pay for it. So we use Google AdWords. Now, the great thing about this is that it doesn't have to cost you a fortune. I'm going to spend an hour on Saturday showing you exactly how to get very, very low cost per click and get a ton of leads using Google AdWords. But one of the things I like to do is use geo-targeting. And basically, I could target in Charlotte and say, I only want to invest five, you know, five mile radius of my house, so I don't have to go too far. Okay? But I invest in Greenville County and Buncombe County, but you'll see some little uh, red dots in here. These are areas where I do not want my ad to display. Right? So I exclude them. So basically, on a very, this is just cost per click goes down, um, on a, any given month, over the cost, of, over the year, since I'm a wholesaler by trade now, um, I get 548 cash offer leads. 18 people asked for a free report. I got 20 stop foreclosure leads for a total cost of using Google on an average month of 300 bucks. That's 50 cents a lead. Guys, would you pay 300 bucks to get 600 leads? Yes? Yeah. I mean, you're paying more than that than one mailing, all right? And you're only getting maybe sending 300 bucks is, is going to get you 300 letters, and you might get one, one lead out of that, all right? So to try this out, and I'm going to go into this on Saturday, I do just want to give you this site, ppcadcredits.com. You can go to the site. And there are vouchers from Google, from Bing, from Ask, okay? 
where the search engines want you to use their money first, okay, before you even have to come up with your own money to do this because they know if they start providing you leads, you're going to come back and you're going to spend more money, okay? It's like crack. Oh, God, I got some leads. I want some more of those, you know, so you'll spend more money. So PPC ad credits. Bird dogs. Um, there are a ton of people who drive around Charlotte all day for their, for their job, correct? Why not turn these people into our house hunters or bird dogs or marketing referral agents? There's a way to do this here, okay? Um, but it's zero out-of-pocket cost. And I, I'll go into this. Is I use um, social networking to find these places. Now, this is a copy of one of my Facebook flyers I, I use for I Buy Houses. I had a little image there. If you need to sell a house faster, know anyone that does, please contact me for a guaranteed offer in 24 hours. I also pay referral fees and do rent to own homes. Okay, so I got my whole business model in that little flyer. Okay, 5,000 views, $5. Better than door knocking. Better than doing flyers. Better than doing those door hanger stuff. Could you do something like that? Okay, so um, this is a typical month where um, this is my tracking system of all my bird dogs. 61 leads of vacant, old, ugly, rundown houses. Okay, it keeps track of them. They get notified when I've looked at them, when I've canceled it, when I've gone, when I've gone to the next step. Bird dogs can bring you deals. Just train a few of them. Okay, we'll talk more about that on Saturday. But my second uh, <coughs> weapon is my REO deal finder. I got tired of dealing with agents who didn't understand what I was looking for. Um, I got tired of looking at a whole bunch of stuff and doing numbers, so I built this software that would integrate into the MLS and different bank sites and would do the heavy listing for me. So I'd tell it, say, I want to search for real deals with, at a discount, drop-down discount, it goes higher, but at least 25% off retail in this city, this state, in this price range, in this bed, bath, and I'd press this thing and say, okay, now chug away and find me those deals. And it would come back with, here's the picture, here's the address, Here's the listed price. Here's the suggested uh, retail value. Here's the um, LTV. Here's the, here's the uh, listing agent. Here's the cap rate, and here's the comps. So it's basically giving me a spreadsheet of where I go, need to go make an offer that week. Okay? There's no reason I can't be making offers when it's telling me, hey, these are deals. So I built this other program to make me 100 off, that I could send out 100 or more offers very quickly called the Rapid Offer Generator. And basically, I upload this spreadsheet into the Rapid Offer Generator, and it will spit out either a letter of intent, a one-page purchase and sale agreement, or you could use the full Carolina Bar Association contract if you wanted to. All right? And, it's, and it faxes them off to the agent, or it will email them off to the agent, and it will also text message that agent and say, hey, did you get your email offer? Please check your inbox. Okay. So if you press that button once and can make 100 offers, is there any reason you can't get a deal? All I'm doing is automating and taking massive action to make sure my, my pipeline is full of deals coming in. So now I just have to sell the thing. Now remember, I already have my existing buyers list. I ha and they're already on my lead generating website. I can use targeted internet advertising. 75% of properties I sell myself, okay? Saving a huge bundle of money in commissions. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So this is just an example of a, a typical website uh, where they can find out where is this property, who's, look, who's the person looking after this property, driving directions of the finance rates and all that. So I got my own mini MLS. I'm not dependent on the agent to do that for me. So the, the other great thing about this is it aggregates this data out to millions of other views. Because how do you sell a house fast in today's market? There's three things. Exposure number one, good ad copy to get attention. And I'm going to be talking on Saturday, what is the ad copy? What is the videos? How, how do I structure my marketing ads to get the most attention? How do I get them to go viral? And then if you can own a component of owner financing on that or creative financing on that deal, those three elements when combined together sell houses super fast. And we'll talk about that on Saturday. So what's the outcome going to be if you start applying one or two or three of these methods? Well, your phone's going to be ring, ringing off the hook. You're going to be making money faster. You're going to get a ton more leads. Now, this is, this is an example from I was just out in California. Now, he was a transmission repairman. And houses out there do have numbers like phone numbers. But 
Um, how many of these checks do you need to change your lifestyle? I mean, if you only made $50,000 in a year, $100,000 a year, is that going to change your lifestyle in regards to you know, what you want to do, quit your job? I would hope so. So with me, you have a 30-day plan. And we're going to be going through a lot of the plan on Saturday. Um, but I do have a course, too. But with me, what we do is we have to prepare your marketing and systems. We've got to get you guys exposure, set up a system to start filtering leads. We want to work, have you work less, not more. We've got to start building those five different types of lists. The system has got to be fine-tuned to sort the leads. We've got to start making offers. Guys, with me, within the second to third week, you are making offers. You are on the phone talking to people. We've got to then send this out to our list. Now, I mentioned before I use a virtual closing coordinator. From the time I get a signed contract to the time it closes, it goes to a virtual closing coordinator or what we call a transaction management consultant. Okay? They came from an attorney's office, a title company, et cetera. They're not doing the actual closing. They are orchestrating the closing to make sure it doesn't fall out. How many people ever had a deal fall out of the closing cycle? All the time. All the time. They don't go like easy peasy clockwork. So I have better things to do than babysit deals. All right? My expertise is making sure my marketing is going out and making offers. So this person makes sure I get paid. So remember in the beginning I said anything and everything that does not create revenue, you got to outsource it. Okay? You shouldn't be scraping you know, these listings off of socialserve.com. That's $3 an hour work you can send to somebody to do. Okay? I mean, you can even outsource going looking at properties. I mean, who wants to drive all around Charlotte, you know, halfway across town to look at properties? Some, you can train somebody to do, get a realtor to do for you and pay them 25 bucks. Okay? Are you worth more than 25 bucks an hour? Yeah, so put your time is where, it's neat, where you're going to make the money. So, to do the system that I have, I know all of you have an internet access. If you don't have a website that works, I'm going to give you two of them, one for finding motivated sellers and one for finding hungry buyers. You all have a cell phone, so I know you can do it. You need a small marketing budget. Okay, this is the caveat here. You're going to be spending $10 here, $20 here, $30 here, you know, maybe nothing here, but it adds up to you need at least $100 a month to $300 a month in marketing costs to get this thing going, okay? That might be hosting, it might be a virtual assistant, but marketing has a cost to it. It's an investment in your business, but the more marketing you do, the more return you get, but doing it online, it's very cheap and has a very high uh, return on that investment, okay? So if you don't have any money to do marketing, don't get my system, all right? I can help you to a point with free marketing, but there are some costs, and I just wanna be upfront with that. And you need a virtual team. My virtual assistant sits in the Philippines. Philippines, because they speak great English, great customer service, they do not care about stealing your business. They do the property research. They're already trained in real estate. Initial screening of leads. They can make the calls and ask the questions so you don't have to, okay? They can compile lists. They can do the automated follow-up. They speak with the buyer or the seller. And if you want to get one, you go to va4rei.com. It's a $100 sign-up fee, and they manage the whole process. If you, tell, if you don't tell them I sent you, they're going to charge you $3.50 an hour. If you tell them I sent you, it's $3 an hour, okay? So, a little benefit for, for that. The next, and oh, this is an ad I put on Craigslist just because I didn't want to drive all over Charlotte. And all I said was this, is looking for a part-time person, flexible hours to take pictures of vacant houses, noting repairs, damages, will require a digital camera and or video camera, pay as per job, gasoline's by mile, payment is via PayPal, and you must know how to upload pictures to the internet. Okay? I got over 200 replies to that in Greenville. All right? Guys, I don't even look at properties in Greenville because I can train people to do that. So if you cannot get the information from the seller, which most of the time you can, all right, and you have them sign a property disclosure report that looks like the FBI is going to arrest them if they lie, all right, you, you got enough information to make an offer, okay? So, um, but the next person is the virtual closing coordinator. They speak with the buyer and seller, review the HUD, follow up on the transactions, ensure all parties are on the same page, make sure your deal closes. Onlineclosingteam.com. The lady's name is Michelle Spaulding. She has 200 virtual closing coordinators all across the country that do this. The best part about it is they do not get paid if you do not get paid. 
There is absolutely no risk for you not to use these people because that, they get compensated when you get paid. And if you do it the way I teach you, and you put it in your contract, the buyer is picking up her cost, not you. Even if you had to, just work it into your numbers. You're looking at a $400 cost. All right, work it in. But I am too lazy to babysit a contract to closing. I want to go out and get another deal instead of babysitting. Does that make sense? You're a president of your company. Do what a president of the company does. So everything in my business has a process. Everything. If you go into a company with a new job, they don't just sit you at a desk and say, here you go, figure it out. You know, you come in here, boom, this goes to here, this goes to here, then it goes to here, you do this, not, you do this, that. So here is a wholesale closing, from the time we get a wholesale deal acquired, closing process, assignment, two weeks. This is everything that happens. Well, heck, I don't want to look at that. I want to just know two places in here, if anything goes wrong, do I get involved? All right? That's how a business should run. Process automation, right? So in my business, the lead is generated automatically. The offer is made. That's my job. The contract is signed. OK, I can do that by, by a sign now. The property is marketed and sold. That's a whole different process. The closing is scheduled. That, that, then the virtual closing coordinator takes over. I get paid. So it happens automatically with as little involvement from you or me as possible. Is not the type of business we want to have. Forget this mom and pop and struggling stuff, guys. I mean, there's no reason with technology and the people now that we cannot start implementing this into a business. So if you're going to do offline marketing, I suggest start doing some voicemail blasting. Start doing better targeted mail, OK? Get some house hunters bird dogs going for you. Put on some uh, seminars. Start getting some publicity about that business, OK? Start running some eBay auctions then, or even. But drive it to call capture. Get it to a virtual assistant. But online, start doing some pay-per-click, article marketing, blogging. I'm going to be talking about all this stuff on Saturday, talking about online video ads, local search, more social media, and all that. That's going to generate you a ton of leads, OK? Um, the advantages of doing my way is that you're going to gain instant credibility. You're going to automate this business to a point where you're going to just get so many leads, you're going to dominate the market, OK? You can do this from anywhere. Because you automate it, you only need four to five hours a week to run a real estate investing business, OK? Believe me, get your life back, OK? So I believe from this presentation, I solved all the problems. I got you over the fear of having no money, OK, of not of making offers. Uh, I showed you how to get your time back. I've showed you how to get leads. The only thing I really got to address is the support plan here, because um, I want you guys to be successful. Um, did you enjoy your time tonight with me? Yes. All right, good, all right. So Saturday, you get me for a whole day. There is a workbook. Are we giving the workbook out or just having them download a workbook? I have a 54-page workbook I'll email to you that will give a download link to come with this. OK, so you can print it out if you want. Uh, so you'll get a handout so you can figure this stuff out if you don't get my course. Um, but Saturday, I'm going to spend one full training day. This same seminar I'm giving Saturday, I usually charge $997 for. And you're charging how much for it? Like 30 bucks? We're free if they remember tonight? 25 bucks. That's a deal. So that's why you got to belong to Aria. So for those who don't come on Saturday and want to jump ahead of the curve and want to make it more than a one-time occasion, this is where I have something to sell you. I cannot sell you one of these. I wish I could automate that, but I can't. I have, I have a course. It's digital. It's all online, but it's represented by pictures. It is the pathway to success. It's the super highway. Forget the pathway. It's a super highway, the Autobahn. It gets you checks. You do have to flip the switch. There is some initial work at setting up the system, all right? The first 30 days are the toughest. No excuses. You're going to learn new things in a new way. But you've got to flip the switch to turn it on. But I know in the next 60 days, I can make you guys five five. K to, two, to uh, 20K, easy, easy, easy peasy. In this market, easy peasy. OK, I don't know what your goals and your passions are. I like to travel, OK? Some people like to drink. Some people, I don't like to get romantic. I don't know, massages. I don't know what your passions are, but I know when you hook your passions to a goal and you take massive action and do it consistently, you can be very, very successful. So you can be my next success story to grow and build a real business, 
a real real estate investing business, it's time for a change to wake up and do things the new way and get my, get my course. I don't care what type of investor you are, I have a process to automate it and how to market it online, okay? I'm gonna give you my contracts that are bulletproof. So you, even if you don't like Charlotte and you wanna take it somewhere else, I'm gonna make sure you can buy a house with zero risk so you're not gonna be afraid of anything and I'm gonna make sure you get paid and that nobody's gonna do an end run around you. I believe in my course so much that you're getting me, by me basically, is that you're gonna get my personal phone number, you're gonna get my personal email address, and you're gonna get the ability for me to remotely access into your computer so if you're not getting leads or if something's not working for you, I will log into your computer and I will watch you do it and see what you're doing wrong and teach you or if you're really that bad, I will take control of your mouse and do it once for you so I can make sure you're getting leads so you have somebody to call. I can guarantee I will get you at least 100 leads the first time I'm on the phone with you. All right, guaranteed. I do it all the time. And I want to, um, I want to take you back to ninth grade for a second. Um, my, my youngest daughter went in the ninth grade this year and she was really excited. But I was, I was thinking, you know, a, a lot of times, how many people bought our real estate education course before? Or I, I'm, I'm the first one they're seeing here <laughs> offering a pitch, okay. So we've all bought courses before. And um, you know, you have, the, you have the benefit of JC who knows the speakers and know a lot of the stuff that comes through here really works versus a lot of hogwash you see other places. Um, but you know, just imagine that you go back to ninth grade and you're ready to learn and a teacher comes in and he gives you this textbook and he slams it down on your desk and he says, here you go, read it, I'll be back at the end of the year to give you your exam. And you're like, what? And then you go into your next class and the next teacher says, here's your textbook, please read it and I'll be back at the end of the year to give you your exam. And this goes on all day long. Now, let me ask you, where do you think you would be today if that happened in ninth grade? Ninth grade, <laughs> never would have gotten out of ninth grade. Well, that's what happens a lot of times when you hear speakers come through, and I'm sure you bought these courses, they sold you something, and you have never seen them again or talked to them again unless they're trying to sell you something else, right? I won't do that because I know what it's like. The first time I bought a course, and I was a member of another real estate investing association here in, 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 in Charlotte, and JC cringes, but you know, yeah, I, I was a member of the other one a long time ago, and I left. Uh, because um, they bought in a speaker who promised me the world. It was a short sale course. I paid $800 for it almost eight years ago, and I thought, gosh, that's going to be the answer to all my problems, all my questions. Life's going to be a dream. Well, three weeks into it, I'm like, he didn't cover this in the course. This isn't covered in the course. I'm like, There's full, this course is full of holes. Right, guys? You've come across that in courses? Okay. So um, I tried to call the guy. No, yeah, he's not going to call me back. And this went on and on. No, nothing from him. But his sales team called me back three weeks later to try to sell me a riverboat cruise. Okay, and on this one-week riverboat cruise for fifteen thousand dollars, he would answer my questions. I'm like, yeah, screw you, dude. You know, <laughs> I'll never. I I was so bitter that I will never be that way. Guys, you can email me, you can call me, um, and I will answer you back. If I mess up, you email me and I will get to you, believe me, because I know what it's like to be in that position of like confused and dazed. And I'm going to be teaching you new stuff, so I'm going to be there right with you. I know the pieces to this puzzle. If you go to my website and buy my course, you can get it today online at $3,000 and $97 a month. Or JC, for being a member, being a member of the RIA, the RIA price is $14.97, and it's $97 a month after two months, because I want you to be making some money before you actually have to pay more money to keep getting the updates and the software keep going and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we have a special offer for the RIA, is that I'm going to give you two consultations, two coaching calls. Okay, but wait, there's more. Okay, where I'm on the phone with you from the very next week, I'm going to be figuring out who you are, what you want to do, and I'm going to tailor make an action plan for you based on my course for the Charlotte market that I know works so we can get you to a fast start. And then two weeks after that, I'm going to have a checkup call with you again, personal checkup call where I'm going to ask you, 
Give me the homework I had you do the first two weeks. Let me see it, tweak it, and give you some suggestions so we can redeploy it and get more leads. Okay, so I'm going to help you build this marketing plan and actually get leads. So two coaching calls. Now my normal coaching program is $12,000, but you're getting two coaching calls with a value of $1,000 um, just for that. Um, I'm going to, if you don't have a website or you have one that's not working, I'm going to give you one that's automated for finding deals, has live site support, leave management. Real world value on that is $12.95. I'm going to throw it in. And if you don't have a website for finding, uh, for selling houses, I'm going to give you one of those too. It matches up buyers with properties, puts your properties in front of thousands of active buyers, and it, and it also does um, property package generators. You've seen some of it before. So I'm going to throw that in too. That one has a $19.95 value. I'm going to throw that in for free. I'm going to let you tap into my list of people already all around the country if you want to start moving into doing this virtually or you want to start. How many California investors are coming in the Charlotte market? A lot, right? Because they think this is chump change over here because their houses are a million bucks over there. So you can tap into these buyers and shoot them your deals, okay? There's a real world value on that at $14.97. Pay-per-click. When you see what's involved in running a pay-per-click campaign on Saturday, you're going to get my pay-per-click software and the, uh, and the upload file with all the campaigns. All you have to do is put your own information on there, and you can use your voucher, and you can start getting leads in 15 minutes. Real-world value on that's $14.95. I do funding, too. Come to me. I'll do funding. Uh, I'm going to give you my software, the $3,000 version. I have three versions of this. You're going to get my Turbo Elite version, um, and that's $3,000 value. That is the backbone of my business for lead generation. I'm going to give you my deal finding software. That's the value on that. Um, my social marketing bot software, which will go out and post to hundreds of groups on Facebook, Yahoo, and LinkedIn in one go. I'm going to give you my rapid offer generator software to make hundreds of offers with a click of a button. I'm going to give you my 26-week rookie to riches business plan, and that means I'm going to take you through a 26-week process that is going to start you with fast cash. Then I'm going to take you into bigger deals where that's your short sales, your fix and flips, your foreclosures. Then I'm going to take you into buy and hold because I want you to make money quickly to feed your face. Then to make some bigger spreads, you've got to protect it by having buy and hold. Then I will transition you to multifamily. Okay? That's the path of this 26-week course. I'm going to give you that too. Plus, you get to take part in our monthly group coaching calls. I don't sell anything, I just explain. This is new in marketing, this is what we're getting. This didn't work, don't try that. And uh, I'll interview some experts as, as we go through. There's a 495 value on my monthly coaching call. And I have a four day master academy. This is not a boot camp, this is not for the faint of heart who don't know how to turn on a computer or don't even know what eBay is. Please do not come to this. This is a master academy where you bring your computer. We're going to do this in the room. I do this twice a year on the East Coast in Atlanta, okay? Um, but it's four days of intensive secret stuff, all right? Um, so I'm going to give you a ticket, one ticket to that. Um, and if you're on the West Coast, you can come there. But you can keep coming back if uh, you didn't catch it the first time around. So all the bonuses today I'm going to give you, the marketing consults, all the software, my monthly teletraining, I'm even going to partner with you. Guys, I will gladly partner with you on any deal here in Charlotte. Why do you think I do this stuff? All right? It gives me more deals to get into. All right? I'll gladly partner with you, but I'm going to take 50% of your deal. All right? Is that fair enough? Okay. But if I walk it through, to, if I walk you through it and I come up with the money, I think that's very fair. So um, all the value of the bonuses today are over $15,000. You're going to get it for $1,000. $497. That's 10 cents on the dollar, guy. Okay, and $97 after two months. So, Dennis, he was a restaurateur with two failed restaurants. He, ch he tried many other systems and so, uh, stuff. And um, he highly recommends my program because he's been finally successful after getting 12 houses in the last six months. Um, so, if you're really serious about success and you can follow a proven system, I'm going to train you. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to fast track you. Um, and you're ready to start making money now, then you need to get my course now. I got a limit to how many people I can actually offer this to. So uh, for the RIA, I believe uh, 10 people I can work with who can dominate this area because I don't want to saturate it. But if you continue to do what you've always been doing, you're going to continue to get what you've always been getting. You got to take new actions. And guys, that's either you got to get my course or you got to come to Saturday training. All right.
If you can't afford my course, then come to Saturday training because I'm going to give away a lot more secrets there. Now, of course, I have a lot more secrets in my course, but I want to give everybody at least a starting point to get off and running. Because I don't believe in any excuses. There's no way you can fail doing this after my training. Because I'll get you leads. You just got to start calling them. So I have room for a happy face up there for a few people. And um, I love testimonials. So um, he was a newbie. Uh, he, sp he invested heavily in real estate education with other gurus. After several coaching programs and other courses, I strongly believe I have the best, most relevant, uh, internet relevant value proposition out there, not to mention a strong sense of always doing the right thing, a value I hold so dear. Thank you for your desire to share your experience and knowledge with others. I know folks like you will greatly benefit from your efforts. I look forward to our next session. Keep up the great work and know you make a difference. I eat that stuff up, guys. So always a man of integrity, stands behind you, always responds, even at night he emails you back. I'd recommend them to anyone. Google me, you know. 98% of the time, people love me. I'll have some haters out there, but I don't care. Those are people who didn't do the work that I told them to do and, they, and that. But see what people are saying, because you can make thousands of dollars a month. There's no excuse if you're getting 100 leads to 1,000 leads a month. You cannot make money. It's impossible if you just don't make the offer. I go as far as this. I don't even think I told you this, JC. I have a one-year guarantee on me. If you cannot make $120,000 a year, and this is easy in Charlotte, Okay, if you can't make $120,000 a year with my course, then I'm going to give you all your money back because it's just too easy. It's just too easy. The only thing I'm asking is this little caveat here is that you make 200 offers during the course of the year. And if you use my software that makes 100 offers in 10 minutes, you can press the button twice. I know you can make 200 offers. Okay? So I'm just asking. Put the offers out there. You're going to start doing deals. So that's the price. Uh, that's for the whole entire weekend. Once I leave after Saturday, that price goes away with the bonuses. I do have a scholarship program. Do you guys want to hear about the scholarship program, or do you want to go home now and just give me, give me two more minutes? What do you want? Okay, scholarship program is, works like this. Um, I'm always looking for new testimonials, okay? So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to talk about what I want right now. I want people to give, get on camera, not formally, just sit there in front of their camera, and I want them to tell talk to me like you're talking to the audience about the experience you had working with me. I saw Duncan speak at the RIA. I got his course. I got his coaching call. From there, he made an action plan. I went out and did this, this, and this. I got my lead. I got a, a deal. I made an offer. You know, I closed it. This is how much money I made. I like a five to ten minute video case study. All right? So what I'm willing to do is, you give me a case study, you get a thousand dollar basically credit for the cost of the course. Okay? So, did I say $1,000? God, $1,000. Um, so basically what I'm saying here, you do a deal within 30 days, you don't have, you, we could put half of this down. Let's make it easy. Let's make it $750 to start down. I'm just putting this together now. Um, JC's looking at me like, what? <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do, JC. We're going to take half now, okay, for the scholarship program. <laughs> Look at that face. And I'm going to start. I'm going to give you everything I got, the coaching calls, et cetera, get you on the fast path. Okay? I'm going to give you 60 days to do a deal. Okay? And when you give me your testimonial, okay, you get half of your, your, your uh, course fee back. At the 30-day mark, I'm going to put a caveat in here to just kick you in the butt. So we'll count it like a toupee. At the 30-day mark, we're going to bill you your second half if you haven't done your deal in the first 30 days. That's why I want to talk to you like ASAP after getting this. And then um, if you do a deal within the 30 days, you don't have to pay the second half. If you um, go to 60 days, I'll refund it to you. That's the scholarship program. So you're getting it basically half the cost of that. So um, did you get that, JC, on tape? <laughs> OK, it's all on tape. Does anybody have a question how the scholarship program works? The only thing is I'm only going to do it for 10 people. That's it because I don't have enough time in the day to help more than 10 people. So that's it. Yes, sir? As long as you want my personal support. If you don't need my personal support and you want to ask me questions or you don't want to keep getting the software updated and all the, all the new feature functionality and stuff, and we update the software twice a month, plus we update the course with new stuff coming in from the internet all the time. So if you don't want the new stuff, you don't have to get it. You can have access to the old stuff. Now, 60 days, are you guaranteeing a deal within 60 days? 
I can't guarantee if you will work. I guarantee that I will help you along the path to two coaching calls, and I'm going to give you a homework assignment and kick you in your ass, sorry, kick you in your arse, um, the, to make sure <laughs> that you're on track. I'm going to tell you, not everybody does it because, oh, you know, my cat died, and I, ha I can't start until next, the following week after the funeral. You know, I, I don't care about your cat. Are, is this a business or not? If you're the type of person, also, I'm the type of person, I'm a CEO, if you're not, and, and I'll tell you exactly what needs to be done, I don't sugarcoat anything, I say we need to do this, 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 and this, and get it done, your timeline's two days to get this done, okay, I expect it to be done. Uh, if you're the type of person who needs me to constantly reassure you and pat you on the back, I'm not your guy, okay, um, you know, I, I, this is a business, I want you guys to be successful, I want to be successful, so that's just my style. You know, so, you know, if you're going to whine to me constantly, I'm going to say, you know what, let's just cancel it. I can't stand the whining. This is a business. You know, come on, suck it up and do what needs to be done. Every, it, you're going to be doing new stuff. It's going to be uncomfortable. So what? You know, but I can guarantee you if you take action, you're going to start getting stuff happening. Okay? So, um, no, I don't guarantee deals, but I guarantee that you're going to have the path to get a ton of leads that it's up to you. If you do the work, you're, you're going to have um, a, a great chance. Okay, <laughs> they did. Thank you. Is that uh, WhatsApp? Is that that new text uh, message app? WhatsApp? Okay. So, guys, that's it. Sign up for Saturday. Yes, JC? Sign up for Saturday, and our meetings will not be here Saturday. It'll be next door at the uh, uh, Crown Plaza. Crown Plaza for the Saturday meeting. And, by the way, just, I don't want to shut up, but, We've got, I got this in uh, October in Cincinnati when we had our uh, national real meeting there. And just the, uh, what do you call it, the lead scraper? The online it. lead finder. He says it's nicer, lead finder. But what it does, we can go into Frag's list and say, I want everybody that has a uh, house for sale uh, or for rent, whatever we're looking for, and it'll go in there and scrape off and get the email addresses and we'll do phone it numbers and all of that. So uh, anyway, that alone was worth it to us just uh, for that use. Because we're using it for a lot of things there in the office too other than uh, just this. See you Saturday. All right, guys. Thank you very much.